So we have some good news here. Um, I have some updates about the efforts to help the children at the uh, Judge Rottenberg Clinic. First thing is, I had a letter that was forwarded to me by a person who had written many letters to help the children, and here's one of the responses that they had received. One of the letters I wrote was to the police department of Canton, Massachusetts. This was their very interesting response. I want to thank you for your email and direct you to the Massachusetts Attorney General's Office at 617-727-2200. I would also advise you to contact State Representative Brian Joyce's office as I believe he is trying to develop some form of legislation to address the issues you bring up in your email and he or his representative can speak more to its content than I. His office number is 781-821-9494, or you can email his assistant at dhiggins at brianjoyce.com. I hope this information is helpful, and I am confident that you will find the answers that you are looking for in regards to the laws surrounding this type of center in Massachusetts. Take care, Helen Finland, Lieutenant. So that's positive that we got a response back, some positive people that we can contact. And I contacted the FDA. And the first person I talked to said that they needed to, to take the information and get back to me. I was very encouraged when I received the phone call back. He was very helpful in answering my questions in regards to regulations of the GED uh, backpacks that deliver the shocks, he's going to send a complaint to my complaint to the Massachusetts FDA office asking that they do a device check, which is something that they're supposed to do every couple of years. I called specifically in regards to who regulates this machine that delivers the shocks and who knows how many malfunctions there are, do they know what it's being used for, things like that. He suggested that I request the initial registration application under the Freedom of Information Act. And he gave me all the information to do that, and I will be doing that. And you better believe Dr. Torture better have all of his I's dotted and his T's crossed, because I will be looking at that scrutiny ploy. So then I asked the person at the FDA if it would be helpful if people wrote to the FDA. What could the FDA do? He advised me that it would be great if people wrote their concerns for this medical device and what their concerns were and to send it to the FDA. The address for them is very long. All of this information will be in the more information box of the addresses that you can write to help these children. When you contact the FDA, you just basically need to say, Dear Administrator, I'm concerned about the GED device, which is registered at the FDA under da 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 the register. I'll leave the registration number, everything under there for you. And then you just need to tell them your concerns that children are being burned, it's being used on autistic children, that the voltage has been increased, that some of the machines have been reported to malfunction and trigger on their own. And basically, we just need to ask that they have stricter guidelines for regulating these devices. So if you could write those letters, you would greatly be helping. He said the more inquiries that come in, the more an item gets looked at. So let's flood the FDA with letters and let's write 
our support to the legislative of um, Mr. Joyce and hopefully with many voices we can make a difference. This is a real positive return so far on our efforts so let's keep it up. I will get those addresses of how you can help the children in just a simple simple letter. Just jot it off, drop it in the mail, and think of all the good you've done. In the meantime, YouTube, thank you. God bless. Have a good night.